Uh, this is the new comedian, Dustin. I'm fired, aren't I? It's all right, I can support us. I have a job. Really? Of course. I'm an egg donor. All right, look, we'll give it a shot. How Friday at 10, how's that sound? Really? She's cute. She's crazy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> What's the deal with you and that guy, Bosco? How can you take advantage of a girl in her condition? She has a grade 2 neoplastic tumor on her frontal lobe. I live right down the street, so I won't be late after today, of course. Just get in here for a second. I fucked up. I'm really sorry I need you back. Where is this coming from? I'm with, I'm with Dustin now. Fuck Dustin! Okay, I know I, made, I know I made a choice. I know I said I never wanted to talk to you again. He's dead! You He's fucking... But the thought of you in this bathroom with someone else doing the things we used to do in this bathroom, but I'm sorry. Come to California with me. I already got your bags all packed. They're in the car. Just let's go. I mean it. We're gonna do it for real this time. Maybe I got something for you. I love you. What's going on, everybody? How you doing tonight? How you feeling? You guys can applaud if you want to. It's a comedy show. Welcome up. Comedy night at a place for us. It's good to see you all here. Uh, my name is Frank. I'll be your host. Uh, well, there's a lot of comedians that like telling jokes like, I like my women like I like my whatever, right? Like, I like my women like I like my coffee. Black. <laughs> well, there it is. No. I got one of those, too. I like my women like I like my syringes. Sterile and full of heroin. <laughs> like heroin addicts, that's what I'm getting at. Like women that are addicted to heroin. Because they can't feel, and neither can I. Alright, well we got a great lineup of comedians tonight. We got Jeff Lean coming up tonight. We got Cameron Rizzardini. We got Dustin Connor, who I believe is running late. Hopefully he'll be here soon. So without further ado, let me bring up your first comedian of the night. Uh, please give a warm welcome for Jeff Lean, everybody. Give it up for him, come on. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jeff Lee. Uh, I like my women like I like my heroin needles. Dirty with an equal mixture of blood and heroin in them. Um, the next comedian is a favorite here. Please give a warm welcome for Cameron Rizzardini, everybody. Give it up for him. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Cameron Rizzardini. Hey, uh, hey, if, uh, if Dustin doesn't show up, you know, I'm ready. I always got my jokes on me. You right, bring your yeah. c shit three weeks in a row and you expect more stage time? Give me a break. I'd rather have dead air up there. So when I turned 18, um, my friend told me, he goes, we need to go to a club, right? We need a party. And I said, all right, cool, I'm down. So we go to this club, and there's lights everywhere. It's a big black light throughout the entire place. And uh, as soon as I see the black light, I turn to my friend and go, dude, we gotta leave. And he goes, why? And I'm like, because now everybody knows I'm masturbating this shirt. What does that even mean? Good dead air. Is that possible? Is that, did that work? Fuck, man. Seriously, Sorry, man. I told you, 10 o'clock sharp. I know, listen, I just found out. Are you drunk? Let me smell your breath. I'm not. Right. You're drunk. Go get a cup of coffee. You're up next. You're not going off. But it, he, he's, he's here. I don't care if he's drunk. He's still better than you sober. Thank you. Can I help you? Can I get a cup of coffee? Yeah, sure. Is uh, Donna here? Donna? No, actually she's not here. You know where she went? Are you Dustin? Yeah. She asked me to give this to you. Thanks. Okay. Now if you think being late is funny, then you'll think the next comedian is hilarious. Oh, hey, Dustin. Give it up for Dustin Connor, everybody. Thanks a lot. Uh, it's, been a little, it's been a rough patch for me. I 
I just moved into my own place. I was living with my sister, Sarah. When I moved in with her, I wanted to get a pet. You know, I figured she would appreciate that, you know, a nice gesture. So I went to the pet store to get a cat for the apartment. And they made me fill out an application, which was already kind of strange. Long story short, I get turned down for the cat, which is kind of embarrassing at this phase in my life. And her reason was, the lady was like, well, you know, it sounds like you and your sister's apartment isn't really big enough for a cat. They like to exercise and move around. And I thought that was funny considering she had it in a five by five wire cage that our apartment apparently wasn't big enough. Our apartment fine for uh, human beings, but a little too small for a cat. So I, did, I, I still wanted to get a pet, so I did something silly that you should never do. I impulse bought at the pet store. End up walking out with a guinea pig. That's not really attractive on a guy my age going home with a guinea pig. But I thought, you know, it'd be a nice pet, it'd be cute. So I named him Swayze. Anyway, you know, I thought, you know, guinea pig, probably easy to take care of, right? But it wasn't, you know, it was a huge responsibility. You gotta trim its nails, cut its hair, give it fruit, hay, vegetables, put vitamin drops in its water. I mean, basically a guinea pig's like a retarded invalid, I found out. I mean, it was almost like I had Terry Schiavo in a cage in my house. But, you know, it's funny because Swayze, my guinea pig, just died. One of the few good things I had in my life. And, and I found out today my girlfriend's got brain cancer. My best friend, her father, already died of cancer. And I was dating another girl who just left me a note. I haven't even read it yet. Yeah, she ran off with another guy. <laughs> I, I'm sorry guys, I, I can't do this tonight. I'm sorry man. I... Dustin Connor, everybody, one more time. Give it up for him. Got any weed? Huh? No, I don't have any weed. X? Got any X? No, I don't have any X. How about some Coke? Coke, let me think. No, I don't have any Coke either, okay? No, I wasn't asking if you had any. I was asking if you wanted some. That doesn't even make sense.